So we just got our new carburetor out of the box and comes all complete. Already ready to dyno test it. And we're going to show you how to install it on the bike. First thing you want to do is take your three screws out of the top. I removed one already. Electron comes with uh, Allen screws or slotted screws, depends on how it was ordered. Uh, either or work great. Take the top off. It's a little spring loaded, so be careful. And we'll take our whole assembly out, which is our spring, our gasket, and our top cover. Be very careful not to turn the carburetor over, because if you turn the carburetor over, the slide will drop out on the ground and you could damage it. So at this point, now you want to just turn it over, give it one little shake. The slide comes out in your hand, and now we're going to install the carburetor onto the bike. The best way, way to do is, a lot of people try to put the carburetor in, force it in this way, and push your boot out. It's uh, easiest if you actually put the bell side in first and push the boot back. I found that's the easiest way, especially on these uh, dirt bikes. And that's the easiest thing is to grab that bell, push it in place. Now you're kind of way in and push it back. Let it snap in that boat. It's very fast and easy. Now Electron, we machine an area out inside the carburetor for this boot to actually fall into. So you gotta make sure that that is fall in all the way into place. You can check and make sure it's seated against the carburetor. If you have to look like that, or an area there, that's no good. You gotta make sure that seat's all the way in. Line it up so it's nice and level. We're going to tighten this clamp first. That'll be second. One clamp. Same thing with this boot. Push it on until it's seated. Make sure you don't have no gaps. And you can grab your carb, and if you move the carb back and forth, you watch each boot move with it, you know it's got it tight enough. You can actually not be able to move the carb in. Check your level again, make sure the carb looks level. If not, adjust it and retighten the boots up. That's your installation of the carburetor. Okay. Now that we've installed our whole assembly, we're going to install it into the carburetor. Always making sure that the flat side of the meter rod is facing towards the engine. It goes in that way, so it's facing towards the engine. There's a small mechanism inside that actually gives you quarter turn adjustments. I moved it, now the flat slide's on this, that side. I didn't do any adjustment, all I did is just remove it in its internal adjustment. You actually have to screw the rod in or out to do an adjustment, and we'll show you that later on in the video. But make sure the flat side is facing towards the engine. down in the carburetor. You can hear it stop against the idle screw. Install your screws. Put your weather seal down, hold the top of your adjuster, and then check your throttle make sure it works properly. When you hear that nice snap, you know it's hitting the bottom stop. And that's it for the installation of that. Now we have our carburetor on the machine. We have our top on. The bolts are all secure. We double check the throttle, make sure we hear it snap. We put a little piece of fuel line on there, and we're going to install our tank and fill up the float bowl and observe that. So I'm going to set the tank on here. Of course, you would bolt the whole thing on and everything, but I'm just going to leave it on there for now. Install your fuel line. And then we're going to turn up the fuel cock and observe the float level. We'll fill on the carburetor.
and it's perfect. We like to have the float level. If the carburetor was, you have to imagine the carburetor being level in between the there's two lines in the float pole. And you can see it right now, it's, it's right there. So if the carb was level, it'd be in the perfect position. And that's your installation. Now we're gonna run the bike. Now we're gonna show you how to take a, make a one quarter turn adjustment in the metering rod. You can go to quarter turns, half turns, three quarter turns, and full turns. First of all, we're gonna take and slide our boot up. Now, you can loosen the clamps and tilt the carburetor sideways if you want, or if there's room, just simply take the screws out from the top. I have enough room here on this bike. A lot of times you want to tilt the carburetor sideways, and it's very easy. Just loosen your two screws. You don't have to take them all the way out, and just spin your carburetor sideways so the carburetor is sitting this way, and it makes it easier to access the screws. You should never have to remove your carburetor off the bike at all. Electron has no jets and makes it very simple to do these adjustments. The carburetor can always stay on the bike, whether it be the meter rod or the power jet. So we have the slide out now, and I'm going to want to richen up the rod one quarter of a turn. So I'm going to take my small little tool. This is a tool that we sell. makes it really convenient to adjust the meter rods. Some people use pliers on this, which can damage the rod, even though it's extremely hard. So it's a good idea to buy the tool. Now, the only way you can adjust the rod is to actually turn the rod in the threads. There's a spring, you'll notice, that pushes up. You don't want to do that. Just leave it in natural position, put the tool over the meter rod, and actually turn it one quarter of a turn in. Then I richened it up. It actually made the rod shorter. I turned it in. Removed the tool. Now the adjustment's done. The only problem is the flat spot is not facing towards the engine. It's facing the side. We have to face it towards the engine. So now we're going to grab it with our fingers. We're going to push up. We feel a spring. Collapse the spring. Spin it back around. Make sure you drop it back down the channel. It's seated. Now the flat spot now is facing towards the engine like it's supposed to. And the adjustment's done. And we're simply going to put it back in the carburetor. And we'll ready to start up again. We're going to talk a little bit about idle adjustment. When you do quarter turn adjustments in the meter rod, half turns, or whatever you might be doing, every time you adjust the meter rod, normally the idle will change. The uh, normal operation is as you richen the rod up, the idle will lower. As you lean the rod out, the idle will go up. So to compensate, you need to use the idle screw. So I richen the rod up one quarter of a turn, and theoretically the idle should go down lower. When we start the bike up, we're always careful to make sure that the idle isn't too high. When you start up, get a little heat in the bike, warm it up, and then observe your idle. If you want the idle to go up higher, you screw the screw in. If it's idling low, we screw it in higher. If, it's, if you want to turn the idle down a little bit, you unscrew it. So it's, uh, remember, in clockwise is higher idle, out is lower idle. On the power jet, in clockwise is less fuel, out counterclockwise is more fuel. And then the meter and rod, when you turn it in, when you screw it in to make it richer, that's more fuel, and out is less fuel. So keep the, all those three points in mind, and you'll have no problem tuning.